Hello guys. Sorry. Welcome to 180 Next Gen Service. Woo! How are we doing this fine evening? And this fine morning, sorry. Good. Can I hear from the crowd? Yeah. Alright. Alright. Alright, before we start, I just want to ask any newcomers here for the first time? Please raise your hands. Oh, we got one right here. Welcome. Give him a warm welcome, everyone. Uh, someone will attend to you shortly. All right, all right. Okay, let's just start with a quick prayer and uh, we'll go on from there. All right. Dear Lord, thank you for gathering us here today, Lord. We all come from different walks of life, different ages, different uh, cultures, Lord, but we come here to praise your name, to worship your name, to glorify your name, Lord. And then after that, we're going to listen to your word, Lord, your message. So open our hearts, open our minds, so that we are able to absorb and receive this message that you have for us today, Lord. And, and we hope that uh, this service goes well, Lord. In the name we pray, amen. 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 All right. I'll just pass it on to praise and worship. Awesome. Thank you so much, Will. All righty. Oh, I see a few people coming in and making their way in. Hope everyone's morning has been well. I think everyone's still kind of waking up. Will was like, come on, guys, come on, let's get excited. Who said good morning and happy Mother's Day to their mum this morning? Well, not many hands. I did. Did people forget? I did. Did you guys forget that it's Mother's Day in Australia today? So if you haven't yet told your mum happy Mother's Day, send them a message, happy Mother's Day, and maybe after the service you can give them a big hug if they're around. If not, I'm sure they will know that you love them dearly. Well, we're going to start off with a song that is very familiar to everyone. I'm just going to invite everyone just to stand up. All right, I just want to invite everyone just to sing this with all of your heart because today is a day. Today is <laughs> the Lord's Day. Right. Amen. 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 I got a bit of a song. Thank you. <laughs> Amen. Today is the Lord's Day. And we want to glorify Him no matter what we've been through during this week. We know that God is good. Amen? Amen. Amen. All right. If we believe that God is good, let's sing this with all of our hearts glorifying Him. Thank you. 
Heavenly Father, God, I just want to thank you, Lord, that we can come in your presence, Lord God, carrying anything that's been going on in our week, Lord, and that you will take us in no matter what has happened, Lord God. That you are a loving Father, Lord God, that you are so good to us, Lord God, that you are our provider and you are the love of our life, Lord. I want to thank you, Lord, that you will never leave or forsake us, Lord God. Even in the moments where we feel like you're away from us, even when we feel like, where are you, God? Or even when we feel like we're in the darkest of the valleys and we're not sure what's happening, Lord God, I just want to thank you, Lord, that you still hear us, Lord God. You are still beside us, Lord God. That we are not alone, Lord. I just feel like there's someone in this place that needs to know that God sees you as beautiful. You are His beautiful child and He sees you and He created you. He needed you together in your mother's room. He created you for a purpose. And you are not a mistake. There are no mistakes in His kingdom. you let's sing this as a cry from your heart because he see he's he sees you and he can hear all of your prayers even when you feel like he isn't there Everybody today. Good, good. 
Good. Why don't you just see whoever's around you, just give them a little shake, give them a little something, wake them up a little, loosen up a little, loosen up a little. Hopefully everyone's good with their, how, how, however long their sleep was. They're all awake, have had a coffee or something. Yep, all good. All right, let's go, Joe. I encourage everyone to put their hands up. And just clap. Oh, oh. I sing. Oh, you. Yeah. Cause you're worthy of all glory and oh there is no other you are forever Lord over all there's nobody like you no one beside you to you the endless praise reason
Israel is one of the countries with the oldest civilizations in the world that has been repeatedly captured, conquered, destroyed, and rebuilt by various parties, as if every layer of its earth reveals many pieces of history. The capital of modern Israel is Jerusalem, but the city that is set apart in the eyes of God becomes the center of struggle with other religions not mentioned in the Bible. Deserts surround Israel geographically, but this nation can manage its land to produce bountiful results with its high technology. Although Israel is the chosen nation of God, the majority of the population of Israel is Jewish and does not know the Messiah. May God touch and soften their hearts to come to Lord Jesus the Messiah. Pray for the protection of God from every attack and reconciliation of the warring parties in this country. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May they prosper who loves you. Peace is within your walls, prosperity within your palaces. Israel is the chosen people of God. Amen. Okay, good morning guys. So we're going to be praying for Israel. So I just invite you all to just stand up from your seats and just um, point your hand towards the flag of Israel and say Shalom three times. Shalom Israel. Shalom Israel. Shalom Israel. Shalom Israel. Heavenly Father, Lord, I just want to pray for Israel, Lord, your chosen nation, Lord, a nation that's so dear to your heart, Lord. I just pray, Lord, for um, your shalom to just um, just waft over Israel right now, Lord. I pray, Lord, for your guidance and protection, Lord, over this nation, Lord. Um, despite of geopolitical challenges and obstacles that this nation may face from the pandemic, Lord, um, I pray, Lord, um, for all the Israelis, Lord, that they'll be able to look to you, Lord, um, as the as the Lord, Lord, and as their Messiah, Lord, as their dwelling as their dwelling place, Lord, and their refuge, Lord, from all their challenges um, that they may face in life, Lord. I pray, Lord, for um, the Israelis, Lord, that you'll just protect them, Lord, um, from any evil spirit, Lord, that does not come from you, Lord, and and for all the enemies, Lord, that will just try to bring all these people. Down, Lord, I pray, Lord, that you'll just um, continue, Lord, to just be a tower of strength for these people, Lord, and that um, Israelis, Lord, will continue to reflect um, your love and your compassion, Lord, despite um, conflicts, Lord, between um, people groups from diverse and different backgrounds, Lord. Lord, I also pray, Lord, um, for the Prime Minister of this nation, Lord, Naftali Bennett, Lord, and his government, Lord, that. Um, that under his um, leadership, Lord, they'll be able to lead this nation um, with the fear of the Lord, Lord, that they'll be able to lead um, this nation um, um, under your righteousness, Lord, with, um, with peace, Lord, um, dignity, godliness, Lord. I pray, Lord, that, um, that under their leadership, um, they'll continue, Lord, to reflect all these things, Lord, um, despite all the the obstacles that this nation may face, we pray, Lord, that they'll just be able to just um, look to you, Lord, for um, help and just seek your godly wisdom. We pray, Lord, also for um, all the young people of this nation, Lord. We just want to pray for uh, a youth revival in this nation, Lord, so that all the young people, Lord, they'll just be able to just be able to just reach out, Lord, to their communities, Lord, to their friends, families, Lord, um, um, beyond um, the, the inner walls of the church, Lord. We pray, Lord, for a, a spirit of boldness, Lord, um, for, uh, courage, Lord, strength, Lord, and vision, Lord, for all these people, Lord, uh, so that they'll just be able to bring Jesus, Lord, into their communities, Lord, and just um, just be a witness of, of your goodness in um, their lives, Lord. We pray also, Lord, for um, just gospel unity, Lord, between the believers and churches, Lord, despite... Um, their different backgrounds, no matter um, if they're a Jew, an Arab, Lord, or a Palestinian, Lord, we pray, Lord, that um, you'll just be able to just um, bring these people together, Lord, um, under your name, Lord, so that they'll just be able to um, just be able to proclaim the good news of Jesus, Lord, through what they do. We pray, Lord, that you'll just open the spiritual eyes and ears, Lord, of these people, Lord, so that um, they'll just be 
um, receptive to um, what you want uh, them to do more and more each day, Lord. And that um, that every seed sown, Lord, will just bear fruit, Lord, so that they'll just be able to just um, see you as a, their true God. Thank you, God. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Everyone may to be seated. Shalom saudara, saya percaya hari ini kita semua tetap bersuka cita di dalam kebaikan Tuhan. Pesan Tuhan yang menjadi tema di tahun 2021 menegaskan bahwa tahun ini adalah tahun integritas. Hal ini berarti kunci kemenangan di tahun ini terletak dari integritas seorang Kristiani dalam segala aspek kehidupannya. Oleh karena itu, dalam edisi Voice of Pentecost kali ini, saya akan membahas tentang berintegritas di tengah krisis hidup. Saudara, di hari-hari ini, ujian integritas sedang terjadi bagi saudara dan saya. Contohnya, apakah kita tetap baik saat dalam tekanan? Akan tetap loyal dalam keadaan kekurangan? Atau justru berkompromi dengan dunia saat sakit, gagal, bahkan sampai saat miskin mendadak? Saudara, perlu kita ingat bahwa integritas adalah hasil pembentukan dan tidak otomatis bisa dimiliki seseorang. Pembentukan integritas membutuhkan ujian, proses, dan waktu. Di dalam Mazmur 1 ayat 1 berkata, Berbahagialah orang yang tidak berjalan menurut nasihat orang fasik, yang tidak berdiri di jalan orang berdosa, dan yang tidak duduk dalam kumpulan pencemooh. Jadi, melalui ujian, seseorang bisa terbukti apakah ia ada di jalan yang benar atau tidak. Lalu, berapakah lama waktu dari proses pembentukan integritas? 30 hari, 3 bulan, atau 1 tahun? Yang pasti proses ini akan berbeda di setiap individunya. Orang yang dibentuk integritasnya memerlukan kekuatan spiritual, kejiwaan, dan fisik. Asupan ini diperlukan di awal proses, di tengah ujian, hingga akhirnya menjadi pemenang untuk berbuah. Untuk melewati proses pembentukan integritas, kita tentu perlu bertumbuh dan berakar di dalam firman Tuhan. Saudara, penting untuk kita memperhatikan akar dari kehidupan kita. Di dalam Mazmur 1 ayat 1, pemazmur menggambarkan hidup seseorang yang benar, yaitu orang yang tidak tergoda untuk berkompromi dengan nilai kefasikan, dosa, bahkan kumpulan pencemooh. Tentunya nilai ini dilakukan karena seseorang ini berakar di dalam firman Tuhan. Seseorang yang berakar di dalam Tuhan pasti memiliki kualitas integritas. Lalu, apa resep untuk memiliki kualitas integritas? Sesuai dengan Mazmur 1 ayat 2, kita harus menjadikan Taurat itu kesukaan dan merenungkan Taurat itu siang dan malam. Kata kesukaan dan merenungkan firman Tuhan menggambarkan hubungan yang dimiliki orang berintegritas dengan Tuhan. Mazmur 1 ayat 3 berkata, Ia seperti pohon yang ditanam di tepi aliran air, yang menghasilkan buahnya pada musimnya, dan yang tidak layu daunnya, apa saja yang diperbuatnya berhasil. Untuk hidup, jelas, sebuah pohon membutuhkan air. Namun, betapa beruntungnya pohon yang ditanam di tepi aliran air. Ia tidak membutuhkan waktu lama dan usaha besar untuk akarnya mencari air. Kesukaan dan merenungkan firmannya siang dan malam merupakan gaya hidup orang berintegritas. Hal ini digambarkan dalam Mazmur 1 ayat 2 dan 3. Dikatakan gaya hidup karena hal ini dilakukan setiap hari. Apakah mungkin gaya hidup terbentuk begitu saja? Jawabannya adalah tidak. Hal ini dimulai dari cinta mula-mula. Namun orang benar perlu membangun disiplin rohani dan memelihara cintanya. Disiplin rohani dalam pembacaan dan perenungan firman Tuhan menunjukkan gaya hidup orang berintegritas. Seperti pohon yang bertumbuh dan berakar di tepi aliran air, akan mudah untuk bertumbuh dan berbuah. Demikian digambarkan gaya hidup orang yang berintegritas. Yang kesukaannya ialah merenungkan firman Tuhan siang dan malam. Dalam Yohanes 15 ayat 7 dan 8 berkata, Jikalau kamu tinggal di dalam aku dan firmanku tinggal di dalam kamu, mintalah apa saja yang kamu kehendaki dan kamu akan menerimanya. Dalam hal inilah Bapakku dipermuliakan, yaitu jika kamu berbuah banyak dan dengan demikian kamu adalah murid-muridku. Di ayat ini, Yesus menjelaskan hubungan sebab akibat yang erat antara gaya hidup merenungkan firman dengan berbuah dalam kehidupan. 
Apa buah yang diinginkan Tuhan dihasilkan oleh setiap umatnya? Buah-buah yang Tuhan ingin kita hasilkan adalah buah pertobatan, buah kehidupan, buah karakter, dan buah jiwa-jiwa. Selain itu, apa dampak lain dari tertanam di tepi aliran air? Dalam Mazmur 1 ayat 3 menjelaskan dengan tidak layu daunnya. Hal ini sama dengan kita memiliki daya tahan yang tinggi terhadap berbagai situasi kehidupan. Situasi sulit dan krisis hidup bisa datang kapan saja. Saat ini kita sedang mengalami pandemi COVID-19 dan resesi ekonomi. Situasi ini dapat mengganggu integritas seorang untuk kompromi dengan dosa, untuk menyakiti sesama, putus pengharapan, bahkan tidak lagi percaya kepada Tuhan. Lewat pemasmur, Tuhan hendak mengatakan kepada kita bahwa dari hubungan seseorang dengan Tuhan, lewat gaya hidup cinta akan firman Tuhan, bukan hanya agar kita berbuah, tapi juga agar kita tetap berintegritas. Di mata Tuhan, orang seperti ini dipandang dan dijanjikan apa saja yang ia perbuat berhasil. Saya percaya kita yang sudah mendengar ini akan semakin memperhatikan akar kita, perhatikan gaya hidup kita, dan perhatikan hubungan kita dengan firman Tuhan. Saudara, untuk penjelasan yang lebih lanjut dari tim teologi kami, silahkan klik link yang ada di atas atau scan QR Code yang tersedia. Tuhan Yesus memberkati. Now comes the time in the service where we give our offering, you know, and so just as the song says, the Lord is truly worthy of it all. And so it doesn't matter how much you have or how much you give. What matters is that it comes from the heart, that it is your intention to give because that's all the Lord asks for, you know. All He asks for is your heart and that's all we can give to Him. And so let's do a prayer for offering. Dear Lord, thank you. Thank you that you've given us so much in our lives and you have truly blessed us that we are able to sit here and listen to your word, Lord. And so we pray that you open our hearts and you give our intentions and so our offering can be used to truly bless this kingdom, Lord, to, to build, to strengthen and to spread this kingdom, Lord, and this church, Lord. And we pray that all of it will be used to truly spread the word, spread your word and continue to strengthen the members of their, our church lord and so i pray that all of this will be worth it all in the future lord in the name we pray amen amen and um just a quick announcement um our small group is called uh, community of love or cool runs as usual uh, if you'd like to join one please let it be known to one of our members and uh, we'll assign you to one um, we give it back to praise and worship Thank you, Will. I just invite everyone in this place. I just invite everyone in this place to just stand up if, the, if you could. And while as you guys are standing up, if you guys could also just close your eyes and just um, maybe bow your heads. Just try to immerse yourself in the presence. Try to just ask Him within your hearts right now. I don't know what season you're going through, but I know God has a plan. For you in every good season and every bad season, so just so just stay in His presence. As you hear some of the lyrics, there's some lyrics you may know, there's some lyrics you may not know, but just let each lyric just sink in your heart, just every single word, or each word that we sing that we pray that gives meaning in your life. Oh. tough 
the seasons may be, no matter how, many, how tough the days may be.
a God in this place. He is here right now. He is here right now. Oh, oh, oh. come on, just ask for it right now in your heart. Are you feeling Him right now? Do you feel that He is there? If He's not there, then keep asking for it. as you can no matter how good or bad your voice is it goes like this Spirit of God fall fresh on us we need your presence your King
Yes, yeah. Come on, if you know the lyrics, just sing it now. The evidence is up. want to heal you. Come on, in count of three, just raise up your hands quickly. One, two, three. Yes. Oh, God. Lord, I speak healing to these people life now. In the name of Jesus, because they have been healed with your stripe. In the name of Jesus, I speak healing now. No matter what's happened in their life, with his, their body, in the name of Jesus, can heal. Such a blessing here you know, to be here. Come on, see to your next. Give a big smile. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Amazing. Thank you, uh, Praise and Worship team. Uh, can you give a big hand for the Praise and Worship team? They did a fantastic job. They did well. Wow. Awesome. 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 Uh, glad to be here. And then I would like to say Happy Mother's Day if you are a mother. And then who attend our service today, whether online or here. Uh, Teresia, I would like to say Happy Mother's Day, Teresia. Uh, you are here today. For the rest of you, remember to treat your mom well today. As soon as you get home, and just call your mom if, if she is not here. She is overseas. Just say, Mom, Happy Mother's Day. If possible, you can order like, I don't know, snack or, uh, you know, like Uber Eat. I don't know whether in uh, Indonesia, Gojek, you know. <laughs> Whatever, you know, you can order and then just say, uh, no, no, I, I believe that is not about money, but it's about Show your love to your mom, yeah? Um, for all moms, at the end of our service, you know, uh, Teresia, you can like approach. Uh, Becky, can you just raise up your hands, please, Becky? Look, Becky, uh, that's a special gift from us, from the IC, yeah? Happy Mother's Day. L let, me, uh, let me pray for you. Everyone, close again your eyes. Lord Jesus, today I pray for all moms today. Uh, let you uh, shower them with your love, Lord, your blessing over their life, Lord, as well. Please uh, use them to uh, be your instrument to glorify your name as, as well, to uh, bless their family, their friends as well, Lord. Thank you and uh, pour more your love and anointing over their life, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Amen, Amen. Well, guys, today I want to share uh, with you. Yeah, I believe everyone here, look to your next. Are you human? Just ask, ask your next. Uh, some people like, no, I'm a robot. Okay. Uh, I believe yeah, we are placed here. All, I'm facing all human, be, uh, human beings. Yeah? Everyone, yeah. The, uh, well, you know, like uh, one thing I learned as a human, yeah? not just an animal. Of course, I'm not animal, but as a human. Now, uh, I, I have to connect with one another. Is that right? I have to communicate to one another. I have to talk with Fio, with Johan. Hi, Johan. See the handsome guy at the back? Can you just give me, hi, Johan, you are so handsome, guy. Okay. Now, um, and he's single. 
Okay, uh, available. Uh, no, just kidding. Sorry, Johan. <laughs> uh, the meaning of, and then, you know, like, finally we meet, you know, and then we connect for one, you know, to one another, and then just like, hey, how are you? What is it? Blah, 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 blah. And then, you know, like, uh, finally we becoming close friends. What the meaning of close friends? Uh, I try to browse, you know, what the meaning of close friends. Usually close friends is not 30 or 40 people. That's impossible. Uh, very likely 40 people. Yeah. One to five people. Like me, I have like my friends, just only two, really like I close until now. I can talk about my heart, everything, you know, like, of course, one is my wife, yeah, my close friend, and the other one, you know, from my school, you know, uh, when I was at junior high, whatever, I still contacted, you know, I did contact him. And then, and then, uh, and then, you know, the, the, the next one, sort of like five people you love, the loved ones, yeah. And then the second layer, yeah, it's called good friends, around 15 people, from 5 to 15 people, and then a bit more bigger, 150, meaningful contact, yeah, 500 people, acquaintance, and 1,500 people, it means people you can recognize, I believe that's hardly, you, co you close with everyone, you tell 1,500 people, uh, you know, I can tell you by secret, nah, nah, I think, that's impossible, well, it's called we are human beings, yeah? We are a person. So I would like to introduce to all of you, even last week, uh, Pastor Andrew already mentioned to you, I would like to bring here, the Holy Spirit is a person. Yeah, we learned from Pastor Andrew last week, you know, uh, and then even in John 16, if you're going to read together, John 16, uh, John 13, uh, yeah, and then uh, let's read together. However, when he... The Spirit of Truth has come. He will guide into, He will guide you into all truth. For He will not speak on His own authority, but whatever He hears, He will speak and He will tell you things to come. And He will glorify me. That's what Jesus said. He will glorify Jesus, for He will take off what is mine and declare it to you. So whatever, you know, Lord Jesus himself uh, tell about the Holy Spirit as a person, you know. Uh, eight times he said that he, 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 he. He has come, he will guide you, he hears, he will speak, he will tell you things to come. He will glorify Jesus, he will take off what is Jesus and declare it to us. So Holy Spirit is a person. As a person, he has number one, he has will. Everyone in here, you have your own will, is that right? Yeah, uh, that's called human. Yeah, yeah. We have our own will. Even Paul, ex, uh, Paul Apostle uh, explained about the spiritual gift. Yeah, he mentioned that, but one, the same spirit works all these things, distributing to each one individually as the Holy Spirit wills, as He wills. He is the di distributor of what we know of the gift of the Spirit. This uh, gift are given to the congregation, to all of you, each of you, by the will of the Holy Spirit. Number one is about will. As a person, he has will. Number two, he has emotion. He, human, you know, like as personal. And emotion is mean the, the mind, soul is still agitated, moved, excited, vexed, and we, which may lead to an expression such as passion or feeling. So the scripture teaches us the emotion of the Holy Spirit. Love. Number one is love. In Romans 15, 30, I'm going to read for you. Now, I beg you, brethren, through the Lord Jesus Christ and through the love of the Spirit that you strive together with me in praise to God for me. So, He love. He can be loved. He love you too. Say to your next, Holy Spirit love you. And number two, the Spirit can be grieved. Oh, oh, Yes. Guys, sometimes you take lightly about Holy Spirit, yeah, oh, whatever you do. What the meaning of grief? The, in the Bible, in Ephesians 4, and do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God by whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. If you read carefully, you know, the meaning of grief means to cause injury or distress. The precise feeling the believer senses when sins or disobedience finds its place. If you read uh, in uh, verse 29, what's happened? Why, why the, uh, uh, verse 30 come, uh, uh, come up with the Don't grieve the Holy Spirit. Because in 29, I'm going to read for you. Let no corrupt word proceed out of your mouth. Out of your mouth. 
but what is good for necessary, uh, necessary edification to build up, that it may impart grace to the hearers. When you say something not really right, um, I remember I met someone recently with my gardener, my gardener. Within one, min one minute, you know, he can, uh, he can speak with me with any, even this is a joy or everything, he can say F for like 20 times, you know, like F, 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 everything F, you know. Remember, let no corrupt pros, uh, word proceed out of your mouth. Paul emphasizes how to use our mind by not corrupting word. If you read after 29, 30, and 31, yeah, what's happened? Let all bitterness, wrath, anger, clamor, and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice and be kind to one another, tender hearted, forgiving one another, even as God in Christ forgave you. In other word, lay aside bitter words, temper, tantrum. Oh, or Christian loves to be tantrum, is it right? If, the, you know, like the school leader, uh, like maybe your cool leader, you know, uh, spoke to you. If you don't know cool leader, call it cool, uh, uh, cool it, uh, it is a small group in our church. We meet every Friday. If you've been, play, you know, uh, join this group, hey, join. It's good. A little bit, you know, and then, uh, you know, like start to, hmm, I hate my leader, you know. Tantrum, it's called tantrum. If you are three years, or even, you know, uh, my, 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 my father's, even my, my father-in-law, remember, Hey, if you have kid a lot with tantrum, huh, you have to discipline him. Yeah, Ten, you know tantrum, you know. Uh, just say a little bit uh, strong word, not not strong, but because hey, just like hey, I think you have to do this one. I said, oh, I don't want to, I don't want to know. I, I don't want to go to church again. I hate my leaders. Hey. and then you just get a fraction with your friends. I don't want to get to church. I want to move church. I want to blah blah blah. blah. So it's called tantrum, and in Christian life, pretty much. Many people show tantrum. And after tantrum, revenge. I don't want to go to that church again. I don't want to meet with him again. I don't want to uh, uh, whatever, talk with her again. One day, see, I'm going to do something big and he or she will regret, you know. Is that right? This is what's happened in people's life. Profanity and insult. For all of them, Grieve the Holy Spirit. But instead, instead, you know, uh, in the Bible say, be kind. Holy Spirit said, be kind. The Aramic word for kind, it means be sweet with other people. Say to your next, be sweet. And affectionate toward one another. Why? Because God forgave you, you should forgive one another graciously in the depth of Christ's love. Again, Holy Spirit have emotion, love, Grief, and the third one can be vexed. When we rebel, disobey Him, oh, we be vexed as well. Even if you learn about, I don't want to explain it this many. He can be tempted as well in the Bible. Yes, you can test Him as well. Even you, you know, like in the, remember the story of Ananias? He can be lied to. Yeah, but you get the consequence at the end. Because why? You grieve the Holy Spirit. Remember, that's why it's called emotion. That's why like last week, people like tearing, you know, badly, sobbing, you know, because why we are not robot. The Holy Spirit is not a robot. Robot doesn't have emotion, but we have emotion as human beings, even Holy Spirit. When He touched you, like last week, oh, you know, people get healed, get delivered, because why the Holy Spirit touched you. Number three, will. Number one. Number two, emotion. Number three, intellect. In the Bible, Romans 8, 27, now he who searched the hearts know what the mind of the Spirit is because he makes intercession for the saints according to the will of God. In the spiritual grief, uh, he endows us with the word of knowledge and word of wisdom. Like today, you know, like I just got uh, something when, when, you know, the funny thing, when, when I was uh, walking toward here uh, and then the, um, Exactly when I stop here and then, uh, the, uh, you know, this, uh, the praise worship team singing like about healing thing. And God said, hey, I want to heal somebody. Uh, like the, maybe more than one, but God want to heal uh, the sick people. That's the God moment. 
So I want to invite you, if there's a God moment thing, yeah, don't, don't, don't just wait or wait, I'm sure. No, 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 that's about you. I remember about my story. Once, you know, the pastor, you know, uh, talking about this one. Uh, I was sharing this one with you, I think, before. I was playing keyboard, you know, in the big church, around uh, thousands of people. And then I was sitting sort of like there. And then I playing keyboard, yeah, one of the keyboard. Uh, I, I, I remember I was a key, uh, the second keyboard, yeah, keyboard too, because there are two keyboard, keyboard too. And then, you know, like uh, this pastor said this one, this is a guest pastor said, God wants to heal someone in here who has a problem with his wrist. And then, uh, well, do you know that what happened that time? My uh, sister-in-law and my wife, was on, they were on the stage. After the, the part, because they, 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 they try to back up here, sort of like, like singers, you know, because the, uh, this is during the, you know, the altar calling, you know, because they have to be on the stage. And then, you know, two of them look this one to the right side. Look at me. My heart pumping very hard, was pumping very hard. But I was thinking like this one, ah, I'm a worker. I'm, I'm playing on the keyboard. Maybe this is not for me. That's what I thought. I lost that momentum because God want to show in front of other people that I get healed. I can, I could get healed that time. So again, because want to show. Remember, the miracles and everything like last week is not about the pastor. Oh, we have to adore this pastor. No, 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 no. That's a God's work. God want to show to reveal who, who He is. The Holy Spirit want to reveal who Jesus is. If somebody got healed, it's not just to show off. Oh, I am the miracle maker. No, 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 not us. Not us. Jesus. So everyone can believe with Jesus, you know. Just he wants to show that he is alive. So don't, don't lose that momentum. Yeah. If there's altar calling, if some, the preacher you know, invites you to do something, if this is you, don't look to your friend. Don't look to the left. This is about myself. Yeah. And I'm going to read this one in 1 Corinthians 2. God knows unveiled this profound reality to us by the Spirit. Yes, He has revealed to us His inmost heart and deepest mystery through the Holy Spirit who constantly explore, explore all things. Yeah. Things you need to know that His action in the Scripture. We already learned that Holy Spirit has will, emotion, and intellect. But the work of Holy Spirit he can hear, he can speak to you, he can testify, tells things to come. I remember the story before I moved to Melbourne. Uh, there are there were seven pastors prophesy over my life. Even one pastor spoke this one to me during prayer meeting, guys. He didn't know about me. I remember that he was from Queensland. I was uh, in Indonesia, in Jakarta, and during prayer meeting, you know, uh, we were sitting down on the floor. And then uh, anyone would get pray, and then me and my wife uh, move a little bit forward, and then can you pray for us? And he spoke like this one: "You're going to go out from this country within two years. You go out from this church within two years." And my senior pastor was there. Oh my goodness! And, you know that time sometimes uh, teachers like split or whatever. They thought, oh my goodness, that's maybe misinterpret. But the funny thing, I never share, I never share to anyone except this is a secret of me and my wife. It's called marriage, yeah? Even to my mom, I didn't tell that we planning to move. Because why? Around seven pastor, se around seven pastor or prophet prophesy over our life. And then the, the, the message is like, you're going to go out from your church. You're going to go out from this country. You got, you're going to step out from your comfort zone. Because I was living in a comfort zone that time. I got a good job. My wife, my wife got a good job. But God said, I'm going to send you. And the story is, within two years, exactly within two years, I moved here. So he can tell things to come. Because why? He is God. He is alive. And He is a teacher as well. He teach us and He guides us. He convicts. If we do something wrong, God convicts. Yes, this is not right. Don't do that one. That's Holy Spirit, guys. Don't just, oh, this is my emotion. No. God use your emotion too. He commands. Even He intercedes. He pray for you. 
He ordains. He calls someone. If you are called, get ready. He searches. He decides. He glorifies Jesus. He refills what's in Jesus. That's why, not, don't be surprised if someone got healed. Oh, no, no, no. He wants to refill what's in Jesus. As I mentioned at the beginning, the person of Holy Spirit wants to communicate with you. Say to your next, the Holy Spirit wants to communicate with you. And His work, He brings conviction to our life. He will convict the work of sin, of righteousness, and of judgment. When you are not right before God, you knew it, guys. Feel something wrong. That the Holy Spirit in you telling you that's not right. If you try to lie to your parents, to your colleague, to your boss, if to inside you, mm, this is not right, he convict you. You try to cover it up, you can cover it up, you know. You can cover it up from me. I remember the story of Ananias. You know, both husband and wife, you know, lied. Was lying to uh, at that time to Peter. And what happened? Yeah, the Holy Spirit got involved. In that time. Number two, as we read in before in 1 Corinthians 12, he gives to all of us his gift. Oh, everyone loves to get the freebie, okay? Yeah? The gift, yeah. But I want to tell you what the, uh, the, the, the gift, you know. Some people may maybe get the word of wisdom, you know. What the meaning of wisdom? This is this is a revelation gift of the Holy Spirit to impart an understanding of strategy and insight that only God can give. For example. One day, you know, like uh, uh, in Singapore, I remember in our church in Singapore, you know, like we pray, like before we pray for nation. And suddenly one of businessmen, when during prayer meeting that one, when during uh, the Sunday service pray for nation, and suddenly God said, hey, I want to, 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 to open the business over there. And actually when uh, he pointed out, he found out actually that's the best business ever. And I forget, this is about mining or something in the country. Do you know that he didn't know about that country before? He didn't know about that country. Until we pray together, we intercede for that country, He's, and then God spoke to him. You're going to do business over there. In the Bible, when Jesus saw Nathanael under the fig tree and uh, knew his true character as a man without guilt, and remember that uh, Jesus spoke to the woman at the well, you know, uh, where he unlocked her heart and said, he says, Go, get your husbands. Get, go get your husband. And then this woman said, I don't have any husband. I have no husband, you know. I have no husband. And then Jesus said like this one, yes, you are right. The fact is you have had five husbands. And the man you know is, have now is not your husband. It's called the word of wisdom. Number two, what the other gift? The word of revelation knowledge. The Holy Spirit imparts through an impression, a vision, or his voice that give understanding of a person or situation that cannot be known to the natural mind of man. Such as prayer for healing like today, you know. Even souls in the apostle healing of blindness in Acts. Even Peter, revelation knowledge of Cornelius servants outside his door. And the subsequent uh, salvation of Cornelius and his household. The other one, you, you can get the gift of faith. What is gift of faith? Release in the believer to do miracle work of God on earth. Or probably a gift of healing, you know, to heal the sick. Or the power to work miracle. Yeah? Like the apostle, apostle, the divine ability to steal a storm, for example. Feed a multitude. Walk on the water. Cast out demons. Turn water into wine. Raise the dead. It's called the power to work miracle. Or the gift of prophecy. This one gift that every believer should desire and never despise. Speak the word of God in proclamation and at time in predicting the future. Or maybe the gift of discernment. Yeah. Like discernment, like uh, when I, I remember the discernment, what the discernment? One day I, I met with somebody and then when as soon as he spoke with me and suddenly this is this happened. Uh, I was, uh, he, uh, she came to my house. She came to my house. I just walk, you know, uh, uh, just open the door and she goes, Hey, Rudy, how are you? You know, like, uh, suddenly when, as soon as she, she mentioned about something, this is like, I got the glimpse, like, BAM, like that one, liar. And it's just like, 
I was like, huh? What's going on? Actually, God told me she was lying to me when she spoke to me. That's called discernment. You sometimes I, I meet with somebody, so like, oh, no. when you have discernment, kind of style, you know, please, please, don't judge other people. And some people said, I don't want to make friends with him. I don't want to make friends with her. No, no, you have to use that gift how to bring that people to God. Because you know what's happened with this life, yeah? And yeah, another gift of speaking different kind of tongue to another gift of interpretation of tongue. So he's going to give you gift. And number three, he's going to renew us. In the Bible, Titus 3, verse 5, He saved us not because of works done by us in righteousness, but according to His own mercy, by the washing of regeneration and renewal of the Holy Spirit. Born again. The Bible said, If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. Um, amazing. Can you imagine after He renew you, then He will empower you. That's why the next one, the point number four, He will give you power. That's why in the Bible, in Acts, it's written, you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria, to the end of the earth. Can you imagine, like, uh, you know, like uh, Peter, I uh, can say, uh, before, uh, well, he is a coward, you know, because he tried to run away, and he's becoming, becoming brave. Yeah, you're going to share his love like, like him, you know. Give, uh, God give you power to heal the sick. Give you power to restore the broken heart. Well, well hang on, so I have to stop. When I walk to this room today, I, I went to, sorry, I went before, I went, you know, uh, to, to, uh, to the back, you know, before. When I was there, and suddenly God told me that a couple of people have, a, uh, you have broken heart, you know, like you come with a broken heart. So, if you have broken heart, the broken heart people, I don't know say this. Uh, this is I, I'm taking seriously. God wants to heal you today. I'm going to pray for you today. I'm going to pray for you today. Listen, the Holy Spirit gives you power to break any bondages. The power is very important. The power is not to show off, show off yourself, but to show that people, uh, God is alive. The the Spirit is alive. The power to bring to people to repent be baptized and be forgiven, be saved from a corrupt generation and bring influence. Can you imagine that time after they're filled by Holy Spirit, they're baptized by the Holy Spirit, the number in one day, they are uh, were added unto them. How many people? 3,000 people in a day. Can you imagine there's a big revival night? There is no, there, they had no sound system, no light like us, no cameras, no aircon in olden day, but they could create a revival night. 3,000 people. Wow, amazing. Number five, He teach us. The Bible says in John 14, the helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, He will teach you all things, bring to your remembrance all that I have said to you. In your daily life, you have a problem. Ask the Holy Spirit to your life. Into invite him. You feel that you don't deserve to live. Some people say, oh, I don't deserve to, uh, to, to live in this world. He's going to, to comfort you. He's going to tell you what's going on. You know, That's why in the Bible, when you read the Bible sometimes, oh, uh, why, why, brother, uh, you don't want to read the Bible. Co co you know, oh, pastor, pastor, uh, so, so confused. Uh, read the Bible after, after one minute. I think this is a, like a sleeping pill, you know. After read the Bible for one minute, I got sleep. It's good, lah, got sleep. Because you, hardly you, 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 you get sleep, you know. But one thing, it's not like that. Because why? You need the Holy Spirit to wake you up, okay? To open your eyes, you know. Because the Word of God is Logos. It's called Logos is the Word when you read the Logos. But the Logos nothing, just as knowledge. If you do not know to becoming, uh, it called the Rema. What the Rema? What can be happen when you reading a particular passage of Scriptures? Perhaps one you have been many times before, and you see it in a new light and see how it applies to your life personally. A couple times I read the Bible and suddenly, bang, God remind me, how about you, you, you fix your relationship with someone? As soon as you read the Bible, can you forgive him? As soon as you read the Bible, can you forgive her? It's called Rema. It means God speaks to, to us. God spoke to me. Recently, 
I'm going to close this one in, but I'm going to invite the musician to come forward. I met with my gardener recently, this week. Uh, after I dropped my daughter, and then, you know, like, uh, I went back to home, I went back home, and then, uh, because I'm going to get ready to work, you know, from home, you know, like, uh, just get ready. But when I, I, re I reached my place, I couldn't get in. Because my gardener, car, with his trailer, blocked my pathway, you know, my, my driveway. Can you imagine? Because it's long, yeah? Hit up. And finally, I parked, you know, on the other side. I went out from my car, and then, you know what's, ha what's happened? I found him, he was like this, you know. This is a car. He was like this one, hiding behind the car like this. Well, as I was thinking, like, this is my gardener. He didn't do anything, you know. Like, he just finished, uh, you know, like, mowing my, my uh, you know, my front. Not front yet. You know, the uh, sort of like in the uh, uh, footpath outside of the house. You know, there's a, like a bit like space, you know, like uh, green, greeny things. Uh, it belongs to council, but it's our responsibility to look after that grass. And then he just like this one. Stop. Like, like sweating and then like, seems like short breath, you know, short breath. And I said like, hi, I don't want to say name. Let's say, uh, say, uh, can I borrow your name, Andy? Yeah, sorry, Andy, I borrow your name. Hi, Andy, how are you? So I like, oh, good. But I found, I found it as not good. And suddenly he was sharing about his life. I got just got a problem with my lung uh, recently because I got a big job. Uh, actually, I for work and then I got not, sort of like not college, but I was ill. And has been a while. I went to the hospital, like blah blah blah. He was sharing, but I found it that he got a problem that time. He's not feeling well. I know he was not feeling well, but he tried to work because he lost his assistant. Supposed to be he has another person, the young people, but there's been like months he didn't find any replacement, you know, like need any people to replace this guy. And then, you know, like he worked everything by himself. He's an old man, by the way, I have to tell. He's not the young man, an old man. And then I said to him, and I asked me, like I mentioned to you, like within one minute, you can you can hear all cursing, uh, even the good thing. And finally, I brought it him to like, how about your family? No one. Oh, and start again. And I bring again, next one, how about you? And he said, oh, people, whatever, blah, 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 blah. And, and, oh, and he started to share a little bit, bit by bit, the story like a puzzle. And then finally, at the end, I said this one, Andy, sorry, Andy, <laughs> not you. Andy, do you, want, do you want me to pray for you? You know, this is the face, face of him. Like, ah, oh, I believe in the universe. I believe something. And then he started complaining and then he started cursing again with his mouth about the church, about pastor and everything. Can you imagine? I want to pray for him. But in return, you know, like, oh my goodness, like, I think it doesn't work. God, it doesn't. This is my heart. God said, pray for him. Pray for him. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. God, no, just wait. Don't say anything. In my heart, I could hear, don't say anything. Be a listener. I close my mouth. I didn't say I zip my mouth. Okay, listen. And you know, you know this one. Oh, and he brought it all the nomination. Oh, see, the effect. Oh, this one. Oh, this is. But I believe you know. Oh, well, yeah, okay, yeah. And suddenly, here we are. God's wisdom. God remind me, Rudy, speak about your backyard. And I said, what's happened with backyard? Oh, I, let me tell the story about my backyard. I got a problem with my backyard for a while, you know. I've been like set up at my backyard with him. And, and no, no, uh, yeah, with him, I think. And then suddenly, you know, something happened. You know, if you came to my house, you know, you know what's happened with my backyard. Uh, I haven't fixed it for months that time, long time ago. And then, you know, like uh, a couple people from church, not a couple people that I know, my friends from church even want to help me, even want to, of course, um, I have to pay and everything. But here we are. Uh, maybe that's I have to be honest more cheaper yeah but that time I spoke like this one to 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 our brother in, in our church I said bro sorry I already promised to this gardener that time long time ago months ago it's not about money but I want to build a relationship with him uh, this is 
my brother in, I mean here from our church I said sorry if I do not I want to be with you if, because I can trust you as well but I don't know and Jesus son as well my wife said that oh, I want to, to, to be, be with our gardener because we already promised to him it's called integrity not because of cheap price and it's just like you know like remember people see you and I bring it this one I brought this one to him do you know that time when you offer me the price, your price actually a little bit more higher than the, than the other brother offered to me, you know. I have to be honest, more, you know, of course. Brother, you know, like from the church, try to half help. But this one, why I still keep on, on take, um, I trust you because I trust you to, uh, to fix my garden. Because, you, and this one come up from my mind because you are a genuine person and I can rely on you and I can trust you. I don't know where it's come up with that word. I forgot. How can I say like that one? Before he was wearing, listen. And do you know, look, look, he listened carefully. His face suddenly changed. The atmosphere changed that time. And God said, this is the time you pray for him. I thought that, okay, do you want me to pray now? Yes. I thought that, you know, like people, he's unbeliever, you know, like he's a, a, not a believer. You know, usually they open their eyes. When I close my eyes and he closed and I open again, you know, I want to see what's happened, you know, what's going on. He closed his eyes. He prayed with me. I releasing peace over his life and then pray for hope for, for his sickness to get healed. And you know, when I say amen, thank you, Lord Jesus, for your love to him and your 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 peace. And suddenly, listen, that's the power of word. When Amen. He opened his his eyes. I, even I was so shocked. How can like before like he was like this, and suddenly like smiling. Reluctantly he was smiling at me because everything smiling come up with F word. But that time suddenly no F word at all for almost like a couple minutes or like ten minutes. No F word at all. No no no. All good words. You know like oh who can help me? Can you? suddenly change. Hi guys. That's the power of Holy Spirit in us. In me. It's not about me. I don't know about him. But the Holy Spirit, you have to pray for him. You have to obey him. I don't know where you are now. Whether you're becoming a blessed person, you know, wherever you are. Oh, people, every time I meet you, oh, you again. Oh my goodness. The troublemaker. Always like gossiping other people look, judge other people. He said, is that you? Repent today. But go back again to close this one. I would like to offer you guys a person of the Holy Spirit because He wants to recite. If you haven't done anything, you never make any decision. You come to the church every week, but you never make any decision in your life. And I want to know more about Him. It's simple. You don't need to do registration. You don't need to fill the form from Asher. You don't need to do that. Just open your heart. Open your heart. Say, simple. God, I want to have that kind of experience. I want to see that power to glorify you. I want to know more about you. I would like to invite everyone to close your eyes. This is a God's moment. knows your futures. Remember my story? He will tell your futures. He is not the fortune teller because he, he, he is the one who created you. He knows about you, what will be happen in your life. Don't trust the, fault, the other one, but this is the true God. Other people try to counterfeit who he is. He's, he brings conviction to live in righteousness. He gives you spiritual gift. Even He renew you. No matter how bad you are, you feel bad. How broken hearted you are. Maybe the first one, when everyone close your eyes, I would like to invite you. You don't need to come forward, but you can stay in your place. But you never say anything. Jesus, this is me. Come to me. Holy Spirit, I want you to stay in me. in your life you never say like this one I would like you to invite, uh, invite you in count of three to raise up your hand 
if, if there is one in any of you. One, two, three. Okay. Thank you. Let's pray. Everyone pray together. Even if you, you, you are online. Holy Spirit, this is me. Everyone say it together. Holy Spirit, this is me. I welcome you. Stay in me. Reside in me. I want to know you more. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I want to just release to you, Lord, you know, like your peace over these people, young people's life. To work more and more. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And the second group. I remember that the word broken hearted. I don't know why. But some people get uh, very, very broken at the moment. This is the God's moment. God wants to heal you. Don't, 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 don't think anything else. Don't think about, oh, I hate him, I hurt. Oh, whatever. No, no, no. It's about you at the moment. God want to heal, want to minister to your life. If this is you, I just want to you freely to just raise up your hands. And whenever your eyes closed, thank you. Yeah. If anyone, can you just raise up? Even on YouTube, just yeah, you can raise up your hand and go. If this is you, feel broken today, can you just raise up your hands, please? Go. Yes, I can see. Thank you. Jesus, at the moment, you can see that a couple of hands, they confess and they feel broken at the moment, Lord. One, God, just I want to release peace over these people's life, Lord. I know you got pour your love, Lord, at the moment, Lord. Pour your love, Lord. Pour your love. Show them that you are alive. You won't disappoint them, Lord. Let the joys come, uh, the, the heavenly joy, you know, come over their life, Lord. They can feel your goodness. They can testify your goodness in their life, Lord. As soon as they walk out from this room, they can see that you are good. Heal them, Lord. Heal them. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. some of you guys might have came later but um, I just feel like God really wants to restore a few people's identity um, I just feel like you've met people who have destroyed the identity who God had created you to be and he just wants you to know that you know those people some of them are people who you in life that we think that they should be the closest people to us. They should be the ones who is speaking into li speaking life into our life. But for your situation, that wasn't the case. And I just felt like God really wanted to say that you are loved. You are very, very loved. Even when other people, no matter what other people have said, He just wants to know you are loved. And you are fearfully and wonderfully made. And whatever anything anyone has spoken of your life that is nothing that relates to that, he wants to remove that from you right now. I don't know who you are. I don't know if you want to raise up your hand if you like. Yeah, to. if you call close again your eyes again, this is a calling moment. If this is you, can just okay, everyone eyes closed. Thank you. Uh, if this is you, can just raise up your hands because we're going to pray for you. This is God's moment. Yes, thank you. You can lower it down. Thank you. Who else? Come on. Yes, I can see it. Oh, thank you. Who else? Come on. This is God's moment because this is a time God wants to heal you. The Holy Spirit here. His presence is so strong. 
God just want to really sing for these people, life, Lord. Your love now at the moment. Pour your life. Your love over their life, Lord. That he, they are loved by you. 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 You are, you are a masterpiece, guys. You, if you raise up your hands, I could feel that sometimes you feel like you are unworthy. You try to compare yourself with your, your friend and stop doing that one. Because God created you uniquely. <laughs> no, no, one can, no one can compare you with others. And even people jealous with you, I have to be honest with you. I just got to say that. Do you know that other people jealous with you because you've been created like that one? They wish they can be like you, your friends. Again, stop comparing yourself because you are specially created and you are so unique. God just opened their eyes, uh, their eyes, Lord, so they can see who they are, Lord. Because they are beautifully made and awesome. He's also, I feel like he wants to call out some people as well that, um, so I got this image of a shell, like a turtle shell. And it's like the turtle's kind of hidden in its shell and it's afraid of coming out. It's afraid of, like, it's kind of sticking its head out, but also afraid of what's going to be, what's going to happen when they stick all of their body parts out and move along. And um, I feel like God was kind of like knocking on the shell, like, come on come on, come on, my child, you can do this. I am right here with you. There is nothing to be afraid of. And um, I felt like there might be people here who feel like they can't truly be themselves. It's kind of like the identity one, but also that there's like this fear that if I'm truly myself, that I won't be, expect won't be accepted. Or if I'm truly myself, I will lose people around me. Or there's there's also someone who feels like there's an anxiety that comes when you want to move out into different things, whether it's making new friends or doing something that you have the desire to do, but there is this anxiety and this fear that kind of stops you and just, when you take that step, a little small step, you just shrink back in because you're afraid. And I just feel like God wants to say, hey, I'm the one who's going to take you. I'm the one who's going to show you who you are. Do not be afraid of coming out of that shell. Because I have created you to be bold. I have created you so uniquely that, yes, some people may not understand how you move, the way that you talk, the way that you think, but that is exactly how I have made you. And there is no shame in that. There is nothing to be afraid of because I am the one who created you that way. And I am the one who wants you to shine the way that I have created you to be. So don't be afraid. Can you pray for this person? And then I close because we're going to close after this. Uh, but before that, because this is a special moment, uh, Pauline will pray for this person. If this is you, guys, when you close again your eyes, because I love this time. This is a good moment, I said, yeah. Uh, because maybe some people shy to come forward, but me sometimes I stood up. Yeah, I stood up because this is uh, the uh, the step of faith. You know, I don't care what other people tell about uh, tell about about me, think about me, but it's about me with God. If this is you, I would like to invite you to raise up your hands now, because we're going to pray for you. Even online, just raise up your hand from home. But this is you. You just raise up. Okay, go ahead. If this is you, what Pauline said. Uh, yeah, I could see. Yeah, and I could see. Wow. Yep, that one. Yeah, I can see. Yeah, and yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, Paul, you can break. Like there might be a few more people. Ah, uh, yeah. That's it. Yes. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Because in this moment, it's just. It's not about you, you no more. Yeah. It's not about because I'm a man. Oh, I'm so brave. No, no. Come on. In the in the presence of God, before Him, you all the same. Not me, even me. Sometimes I raise up my hand. Seriously, yeah, I'm the one who raise up my hand. Yeah. Even if you haven't raised up your hand, and if you want to say that, God, yes, this is me. I want you to help me to step out of this shell. I am afraid, but I want to be able to do it. Just declare it in your heart. 
Lord God, I just want to thank you for every single person under the sound of my voice right now, Lord God, who is asking, Lord, that you use them in a mighty way, Lord God, that there is restoration in the love that you have shown them, Lord God, that they don't need to be afraid, Lord God, they don't need to be anxious, Lord God, because you have created them so uniquely, Lord. And the ideas that they have, Lord God, the words that they want to say to their friends or the words they want to speak out, Lord, that they are so powerful, Lord God. Lord, that no matter what the enemy is trying to throw at them right now, Lord God, to stop them from being the salt and the light that you have created them to be, Lord God, I just want to ask, Lord, that you give them the courage, Lord, that the strength and the courage, Lord, that you are there, that is, you are there right beside them as they go through it all, Lord. And the first step may be very challenging, Lord God, but you are the one that is holding their hand right there next to them. God, I just want to speak power over these individuals, Lord God. I just want to thank you, Lord, that you're going to use them so mightily for your kingdom, Lord God. That even in this moment, Lord, that, you know, they're not sure what's going to happen, Lord God, but that they will trust you, Lord. God, I just want to speak faith into their hearts right now, Lord God, that there is a move of you in their heart, Lord God, of wanting to see your glory to be seen, God. That there is a new love for themselves as well, Lord God. The love that you have for them, Lord God, I just want to ask, Lord, that you help them to see how you see them, Lord. God, I just want to rebuke any anxiety and any fear right now in the name of Jesus, Lord God, and replace that, Lord, with your courage, Lord. Boldness like a lion, Lord God. So I thank you, Lord. There is unashamed, there, they will be walking unashamed of who you have created them to be as well, Lord God, in the identity, in the thought processes, in the things that you have called them to be, Lord God. They are not called to be the same as others, Lord. I thank you, God, that you have created them so uniquely, Lord. And that they are made to stand out, God. And Lord, I just want to thank you for the journey that you're taking them on as well, Lord God. That you are the person that they can lean on, Lord. Even when they take steps and feel like they take steps backwards, Lord. That you are still holding on to them, Lord. And they can still declare, God, I want to be able to step out and not be afraid. And God, that you will come through for them, Lord. So I want to thank you, God. So I want to surrender these beautiful people into your mighty hands, God. In the name of Jesus, we pray. I would like to, if you want to stand up, and then let's praise Him.
and you speak to your people Lord today so you are so amazing God thank you Lord for reciting our life Lord I'm, I pray Lord let's uh, you, you this is our journey again with you Lord guide us lead us Lord and remind us about your goodness all the time Lord thank you Lord Jesus and guys, it's time for you to receive revelation. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make His face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up His countenance upon you and give you peace. And all the believers say, Amen. Have a blessed Sunday. God bless you. If you are from Zoom, stay still. Okay. You may be seated, guys. Uh, because we're going to watch something.